Welcome to Multidimensional Health with Dr. Tony. I am your host, Tony Camacho, a holistic health practitioner, registered herbalist, and doctor of psychology, and I will be leading this podcast. Today, I'm really happy to share with you a little bit of information on how your hormones impact the condition of your skin. In this episode, I'm going to provide you with great information that you can use to start managing your skin issues immediately. But first, I want to share with you that if you have any questions, you can email me at contacttony at dsndavid, rsnrose, Tony with an I, camacho.com, or visit my website at www.dsndavid, rsnrose, Tony, Camacho.com. That's Dr. Tony Camacho.com. Now let's get started. Your skin is one of your body's largest and most important organs and plays a number of roles in maintaining your overall health. Not only does it provide a physical barrier to protect your insides, but your skin also helps to regulate your temperature and acts as a route for elimination for fluids like sweat and oils. Your skin is covered in small glands called sebaceous glands. They secrete an oil called sebum that helps lubricate your skin and keep it healthy. Within these glands are receptors that respond to hormones and react according to factors like hormone levels. Hormones are chemical messengers that are produced in organs such as the ovaries, adrenal glands, and thyroid. When there is too much or too little of a specific hormone being produced, your skin reacts accordingly. We know there is a connection between hormones and the skin because certain hormonal disorders manifest themselves by affecting the skin and hair. Now let's explore some of the specifics. When it comes to hormones, estrogen is probably the most widely known and discussed. While it's true that estrogen is primarily made in the ovaries, It's a hormone that is also found in males and it's made in different tissues, including in the adrenal glands. So good function of the adrenal glands is also essential for your skincare. In the skin, estrogens affect the thickness, wrinkle formation, and moisture levels. Estrogen also can increase glycosaminoglycans, such as hyaluronic acid, to maintain fluid balance and structural integrity. Testosterone is the hormone responsible for coarser hair and thicker, oily skin. This hormone is heavily involved in sebum production and too much can cause acne, clogged pores, and other blemishes. Cortisol is a hormone that is produced in your adrenal glands and high levels of cortisol result from being in a state of chronic stress. Too much cortisol can result in acne and thinning skin. Low levels of cortisol can also result in changes in your skin color and pigmentation. If you're suffering from hormone-related skin issues, your first thought might be to go to the drugstore and grab some skincare products, but that won't solve the root of the problem. While it's important to keep your skin clean and well-protected, which we'll be discussing later, masks, toners, and serums won't be able to do their best if you don't make changes in your diet and lifestyle as well. Yes, today we'll be discussing which lifestyle changes can most heavily influence your hormones, which will be your first step toward creating a plan of action. Each person has a unique body, which means that each person's wellness journey looks a little bit different. So be sure to follow up with me after this class to create a plan that works for you. From acne in adolescence to thinner skin during menopause, hormones affect our skin differently throughout our lives. So let's take a look. It's very common to experience acne alongside monthly cycles. It's because your estrogen levels are dropping. This is likely because estrogen helps to stop your glands from overproducing oil, kind of like an anti sebum So without enough of it, pores can become clogged. Sweating more than usual, as well as experiencing dry skin, are also common symptoms that can occur during a menstrual cycle. Lastly, if you have any skin condition like psoriasis or dermatitis, they may also worsen during the premenstrual phase. Acne happens during puberty because new hormones are being introduced into the body systems. Often this acne appears in the T-zone of the forehead, nose, and chin. 
These hormone fluctuations may aggravate acne by increasing overall skin inflammation, oil production in the pores, clogged skin cells and hair follicles, production of acne causing bacteria. During periods of elevated hormonal activity such as pregnancy, estrogen can cause skin pigmentation, also known as melasma, in certain sun-exposed areas such as the forehead, nose, and cheeks. When menopause begins, the body experiences a natural decline in the reproductive hormones. This can cause the skin to appear flush, red, and blotchy. Why? Because estrogens have anti-inflammatory properties. So when they're gone, inflammation in the skin and conditions like rosacea can get worse. Losing estrogen can also result in less collagen production, dehydrated skin, and a lighter, more pale complexion. Now in this phase of your life, the adrenal glands take over the estrogen production. So again, it is very important to have healthy adrenal glands. Manage stress to do this and also take herbal supplements to help you with this. A hormone balancing diet requires a healthy digestive tract, stable sugar levels, and well-functioning liver. Before creating a diet that works for you, it is crucial to gain an understanding of how your body is currently operating as well as exploring what could be improved. There is no one-size-fits-all diet plan to fix your hormones. Depending on the health of your body overall, you'll be able to determine how drastically you need to change your diet. Also, you can improve your hormones by taking herbal supplements to support the liver, digestion, and hormone balance. And you can find all of these herbal supplements on my website at www.dsndavidrsandrosetonycamacho.com. That's drtonycamacho.com. One of the best things you can do for your skin is eliminating sugar from your diet. Eliminating sugar from your diet can help keep levels of certain hormones like insulin in check. Additionally, refined sugar is known to put stress on the adrenal glands, which regulates cortisol, the stress hormone. When cortisol levels spike, your skin gets extra inflamed, causing acne, psoriasis, and other skin conditions to get worse. Another thing is, don't be afraid of fats. For so long, we've been socialized to believe that fat is something that should be avoided. But now we know that healthy fats are actually essential to keep our bodies feeling happy and healthy and also to keep your hormones balanced. Long chain omega-3 acids may help to lower cortisol levels. Long chain omega-3 fatty acids may help to lower cortisol levels. So be sure to include foods like whole eggs, olive oil, avocados, nuts, seeds, coconut oil, and nut butter into your diet. Alcohol can affect our blood sugar levels and cause a spike in estrogens and other hormone levels. One study published in the medical journal Alcohol and Alcoholism found that for women in their 40s and 50s, even just moderate consumption, which is one drink a day, can affect the hormonal system. So if you're using alcohol at the end of the day to chill out and to relax, find other ways and other products to replace the alcohol. It could be an herbal tea, it could, or it could be an herbal tincture to help you relax, um, meditate, breathe, find other ways to cope with the stress or to manage your anxiety at the end of the day other than drinking a cup of wine. Now, physical activity is so, so essential. Physical activity can strongly influence our hormonal health because exercise can reduce insulin levels. In a 24-week study of obese women, exercise helped to balance insulin as well as levels of a hormone that has anti-inflammatory effects and helps regulate metabolism. Studies also found that being physically active may help boost muscle-maintaining hormones that typically decline with age, such as testosterone and growth hormone. That's why it's also very important to lift weights as part of your health exercise routine. Although a combination of resistance training and aerobic exercise seems to provide the best results, engaging in any physical movement is beneficial. Now, I want you to take your sleep very seriously. In order for your body to work at its full capacity, it needs adequate time to rest and recover. Most people aren't getting enough sleep or enough quality sleep, which is messing with their wellness in many ways. To get your sleep schedule in order, prioritize having a regular bedtime and wake up time. Practice good sleep hygiene by using blue light blocking glasses for screen time at night or swapping out your phone for a book. Now let's talk a little bit about managing your stress. 
When our cortisol spikes due to stress, our skin can become inflamed as a response. If you're serious about clearing up your skin and your overall wellness, then take proactive steps to manage your stress, including taking the adrenal support supplement that you can find on my website. That's very important. You can also practice mindfulness. Millions of people are discovering the power of mindfulness, which can be practiced in hundreds of ways throughout the day. You can also try meditation, yoga, tai chi, qigong, or simple breathwork exercises. And the best thing nowadays is that you can find a bunch of guided exercises like this on YouTube. You can also look for, if you Google for Lee Holden, you'll find a lot of free qigong exercises that you can do to help you. Now, you can also take steps to take care of your skin directly. There are millions of products out on the market that claims to fix your skin issues. But I encourage you to stop chasing the hype and get back to the basics when it comes to treating your skin. Start with a simple cleanser morning and night. Apply a non-comedogenic moisturizer. And that's spelled C-O-M-E-D, as in David, O G E. N-I-C. This means that it won't clog your pores and also use a broad spectrum SPF every day. And of course, take the herbal supplements to balance your hormones, support your digestive system, liver and adrenals and all you can find on my website. And finally, listen to your body. Try different things and see what works and what doesn't work. And don't be afraid to change your routine if it's not working or whatever food you're trying is causing you to break out. Again, listen to your body, test certain foods to see if you're allergic to them and take good care of your skin. Manage your stress, take herbal supplements and rest. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found some of the information I share with you to be useful. One of my main goals is to instill the importance of listening to your body and personalizing your wellness journey as much as you need to. That being said, I know that I cover a lot of information with you and that there's a lot of lifestyle elements that I mentioned. So if you're serious about your health and you have any questions, I am happy to help you. I am happy to work with each one of you and create a plan that meets your goals. All you have to do is reach out. Email me your questions at contacttony at DS and David, Aris and Rose, Tony, Camacho.com, or visit my website at www.ds and David, Aris and Rose, Tony, Camacho.com, and I will see you next time.